You got what I asked for? Yeah, it was easy. Shh, don't tell me. I don't want to know. I have a magic goose that lays golden eggs. Damn. Can you give me space to breathe? Give me five feet over there with your golden goose laying egg ass so I can count this money, please. Sorry, I didn't know cops could count. So did you get what I asked for? Go to this address. Ask for a lady by the name of Miss Jane. She'll have what you need. Thanks. Oh no, thank you. Who is that? Oh, it was nobody, baby. It was just a friend. Go back to bed. A friend? Are we in trouble again? You know how much I love this place. Even if it is a shithole. Mm, but baby, it is our shithole. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, why was your friend here in the middle of the night? <sighs> it's nothing. She just needed a little information. What kind of information? <sighs> About Miss Jane. Miss Jane? <gasps> Are you crazy? Relax, baby. Relax. <sighs> All I gave her was an address. And check this out. Oh, she paid real good for it. What is Miss Jane? What are you doing here? I'm here to see Miss Jane. Come on. I have to go. Why you be selling me? I have some pills to push. Old news. No one on the streets wants this stuff anymore. It doesn't pop like the new pills. Who told you to come to see me? I heard it in a dream. Not a nightmare? The best I can do is 350. That's a little undervalue. Take it or leave it.
make sure if she gets a message, she's not welcome back. And bring me those pills. Famous May sisters. Step sisters. I could feel the tension between you two. Our dad forced us to come here. My dad is forcing us to be here. He thinks that we should learn how to fight. But I don't teach how to fight. <laughs> this is a waste of time. No one is forcing you to stay here. Did you hear what she said? I am not your stepdad. If you want to leave the doors that way. Like I said, I do not teach how to fight, but I can teach you how to protect yourself. I'll teach you everything that I know you promise me that you will only use it as a last resort. I promise. Go check on the girl and try to find out who gave her my name. Miss Jane would like to know where you got her name. Fuck you. I was hoping you'd say that. Everyone knows that karate is a martial arts. But few people know what art really means. Art is not something you hang on the wall. It is something you do. It is always involving the learning process. Now fighting stance. Fighting your legs. Now attack. What are you tired already? <laughs> Little bitch. Get me Anita. Alright. Brandy! Go get Anita. Tina needs her in the other room. It's about time. Called me half an hour ago. I was busy. So what do you need to know? Ms. Shane wants to know where she got her name and who she works for. And you couldn't have gotten that out of her by yourself. She's a tough cookie to crack. Give me a few minutes with her. I'll crack her. Hell no. That shit stinks. Uh, you're completely insane, so I'm out of here. Oh, come see Miss Shane after. You better stay away from me with those little creep.
Karate has no style. It molds the individual into being an object of defense and offense. It is through this process that karate teaches us the fundamental concept of self-protection. Karate was never meant to be used against a single opponent. Rather, it is a method of avoiding injury by using your hands and feet. Should one be approached by a villain or enemy. Focus. The problem is, some people just hate learning because learning involves you admitting that you didn't know something before. Learning doesn't require humility. It demands it. That's why some people never grow. They are too afraid to know a little more than they actually knew. You see, learning is defeat. Staying the way you are is easier. But nothing ever grows out of comfort. So learn and keep learning because the day you stop learning is the day you stop living. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I had my hands tied behind my back and there was a blindfold over my eyes and I still managed to escape. <laughs> my goodness, well you're definitely gonna have to teach me that one day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How's your shoulder? Mm -hmm. Be better. Here. I just don't understand why you're always so nice to me. <laughs> because we're sisters. But we're not actually sisters. Well, not blood, but I still consider you like my sister. Even if our parents aren't together anymore? Even more. <laughs> so, uh, have you talked to your mom lately? Mm, no. She kicked me out. Are you clean? Yes, I swear I'm clean. I even got a job and it pays really well and if everything goes the way I expect it to, I can even pay you back in a few months. Oh, um, don't rush on that. You don't have to worry about paying me back right now. I mean, I know, but Miss Jane is such an amazing and smart businesswoman. I mean, I just hope to be like her when I grow up. Well, I'm glad you really found something that you like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so why haven't you ever kissed me? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, come on, I know you love me. I've always known. I mean, the way you look at me at the dinner table and at night when I'm pretending to sleep. Well, stop. Now you're making me sound creepy. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It wasn't my intention. I mean, just sometimes I wish you would have joined me, you know? Like, not necessarily in the sexual way. I just really wanted to feel you beside me. I mean, maybe I imagined that because I thought that's what you wanted. I mean, I've always been in love with you. Well, maybe it wasn't your imagination. Welcome back, Sleeping Beauty. Let's jump back in. I swear to God, if you touch me with those again, you're gonna regret it. You know, when people are at the end of the road, they show you who they really are. From what I've seen, there are two types of people. Those who cry and scream for mercy, or the tough guys. I always prefer the tough guys. <coughs> you 
talk too much. Is our guest being treated? Anita's frying her up for breakfast. Why don't you take care of business? Why don't you handle pleasure? Oh, nothing gets me fired like the smell of bacon. If that girl's a cop, will we get in trouble? Cops don't carry around a purse full of pills. Don't think too hard. I pay you not to be smart, but to look good. I look good to you? Gorgeous baby. Gorgeous. <gasps> oh my god. Don't move, motherfuckers. For God's sake, you're still alive? Tell me what the fuck you want. Do you know a girl named Emily? Emily Washington? No. She used to work for you. Listen, I don't keep track of all the girls who work for me. Oh, that little bitch who stole from me. <gasps> I, I swear I'd not take your fucking drugs. I don't know why you're accusing me. Yeah. Listen, you have your drugs. Take all my money and the safe behind the painting. This is a big misunderstanding. Please, let us go. No one. Listen, this is just a big misunderstanding. This is the end of your rotten life, you motherfucking dope pusher.